how drones and virtual reality are changing roof repair. We'll explain and we'll show you coming right up. Now at 846, drone and virtual reality technology are making it easier for homeowners to get transparent roofing quotes. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And Ross Appledorn, CEO of Feasel, is here to give us a look at how it works. And you call this technology Robin. Tell us how it works. That's right. So it's uh, pretty simple, actually, for a homeowner. Once they reach out to us, what we do is we send somebody out to their home to deploy a drone. So that drone imagery is actually much better than we can get from satellite imagery or even just with a camera. So we get that drone imagery then, that gets fed into an algorithm. That algorithm creates a 3D model of the home. So the homeowner then receives a 3D model of their home that is fully masked in a visualizer software. So they can put different color shingles on there, different color siding, all that type of stuff. Then what we do is, once we have all that ready to go, we actually drop off a pair of these VR goggles at their front door. We send them a link. You simply put your smartphone into these goggles and you get your roofing estimate in VR. So the great thing about that is people don't have to take time off of work. Right. They can literally get this estimate from us in their pajamas at their convenience whenever they want to. That is amazing that you're using this kind of technology for roofing. For roofing, I mean, yeah. And you think someone could just climb up there, take a look, take pictures, but you're saying this is that much better. This is that much better. So uh, in terms of somebody climbing up there, this is so much safer. We don't have to have anybody on the ladder or, you know, even on the roof for that matter. Mm -hmm. So, and then... Really what, what was behind this whole thing for us though, we wanted to give control to the homeowner. We know that it's not very much fun to replace your roof in the first place. Nobody's really mm -hmm. looking forward to that. Right. And then it's not that much fun to have to meet with salespeople and sit through a two hour presentation and all that type of stuff. So our goal has always been to improve the customer experience. So we look to technology as the best way we could possibly do that. So now, as I said, people at their own convenience, whenever they choose, can get that estimate in VR. And if someone out there is considering getting work done on their roof, what are some things to keep in mind when it comes to contractors? What are some of your tips? So, you know, obviously a good place to check is with the Better Business Bureau. So you can go to the BBB. Everybody's going to have a rating, of course, A plus or A minus, you know. And if it's not an A, I wouldn't even consider it personally. Um, but really, you have to look beyond just that letter grade rating, too, and, and read those reviews. Mm -hmm. It's so, always wow. good to, you know, read reviews, ask your friends, have you used this company? How was it? That's How much right. time did they take? Yeah, yes. and uh, we have already had severe weather this spring, including a tornado in Grove City. That's right. And after a storm, other than leaks and visible holes, are there other signs to watch out for related to storm damage? You know, if you think uh, at all that you might have storm damage, you really need to have a professional inspect that. It's really difficult to see that from the ground. Even with our drone imagery, which is really excellent imagery, we still still in terms of storm damage like to do a, a physical inspection mm -hmm. you know so what can happen with shingles is the wind can lift them up and then they'll lay back down but uh. they don't really seal so the only way to really determine that is to actually touch them and and try to lift them with your fingers and then um, as it relates to like hail damage you absolutely cannot see that from the ground yeah. so and that you almost have to touch to see if it bruised the shingle or not so really uh, in in the case of storm damage you're gonna need to get an expert out there to inspect it. Good to know. Uh -huh. All right, some good options, a lot of things to think about, but yep. it's good to have more options like new technology these days. We That's appreciate right. you being here today. Yeah, thanks Thank for Thank you out. so much, and yeah. uh, I definitely want to try that out. Yeah, you can go give that a whirl. Maybe we can hook that up to the, the weather out there so you can walk around in our graphics. <laughs> sure, we, we can We should try. get a VR set. That would be pretty cool. There that you go. Be good. <laughs>